How many of you guys still remember this map? Or have you even seen it before? It has been a long, long time. What is going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to World of Tanks and welcome back to the newest series on my channel. But before, let me quickly change my marker settings because this is what I have to do every single time for some reason. Uh, you would like to see HP left and total, of course, uh, so let's do that. But uh, welcome back to the newest series on my channel. That was named World of Thanks from the past before, uh, but I really wanted to make this name a little bit shorter, so I decided to go with World of Thanks past. It is simple and hopefully understandable as well. World of Tanks past. What do you think about your name, guys? Let me know, please, let me know. Another option was World of Tanks Archives, but I don't know, World of Tanks Past is like super simple and, and hopefully, as I said, understandable. Anyways, today, once again, I activated my time machine and I decided to go back to patch 8.1. That was released, let me see, that was released in 9th of November. 2012. So today you're going to see one replay that is nearly four freaking years old. And actually one of the main reasons why I decided to show you this replay was because of the map. Good old, well I do not actually know how good, but it is old Dragon Ridge. We do not have it anymore. It was actually removed with patch 9.6, but I might be wrong, I do not remember exactly. But it was added with patch 7.3, so this map has seen a lot of things, a lot of different changes and, and physic changes, and uh, this map has seen a lot of action, but it is not over here anymore. And uh, from this replay you're going to see some epic, epic D62A rice field farming as well, because we have rice fields over here, so I think I'm going to name this replay rice fields farming, or epic farming, or something like that, we'll see. I have to figure it out, uh, but uh, with patch 8.1, we received a lot of nice things. For example, SU-12244, we received Panther M10 and uh, Panzer IV Schmalterm or something like that. And we received entire British tank tech tree. We didn't have any British tanks before batch 8.1, so this batch was pretty huge. Uh, because from now on we have FE 215B 183 and standard tier 10 heavy tank, as you can see on the enemy side as well. They have FE 215B that has two kills already. So batch 8.1, a pretty huge step for World of Tanks. A British tech tree, long waited a British tech tree actually I can say. And World of Tanks had two really big batches in a row actually, because one batch before that, batch 8.0, introduced physics in the game, improved render and second Soviet TD branch, so that object 263 branch, I believe. Uh, yeah, I believe, I remember correctly. Uh, so, new physics guys, you have no idea what the game was like before physics. Like, we have map edges everywhere, you couldn't climb down um, uh, steep hills, you couldn't drop down, you couldn't go into water, or you, you couldn't do anything pretty much. And I believe I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you World of Tanks before physics as well in one of my episodes. Would you like to see that guys? It was hilarious, if I'm going to think about it. I can still remember like uh, getting stuck into the most ridiculous positions because you simply couldn't go there and uh, and you got stuck going there or trying to do something I don't know. And guys, if you haven't played this game for more than let's say one year or two years and if you think that World of Tanks is not evolving, then um, I'm going to show you in the future I'm going to show you a few battles from different uh, batches that are going to change your opinion 100%. This is ridiculous, like graphics over here. At the moment we have so much smooth graphics, smoother graphics, because those graphics that you're watching right now are maximum. I have everything maximum. Uh, triple buffering, V-Sync, uh, maximum textures, and everything is maximum. And sound quality, just listen to the sounds. Like, when you hit enemy, 
Those explosions. And this was the sound of explosion. Like, like, this is crazy. I actually did not remember myself how much this game has changed. I really didn't remember, but watching those, uh, all those old replays, uh, it uh, brings uh, brings back a lot of good memories. Uh, for example, like uh, two batches before this batch, you wouldn't been able to climb down here. We didn't have physics. You simply would have been stuck up there, doing nothing. Yeah, this, this was World of Thanks in batch 7.9, for example. Anyways, let's move on. Uh, actually, guys, I didn't say who is playing the game. Sorry, Doppelx or Doppelx, uh, sorry. I didn't say your name before, but all credits to you. Replay that is almost four years old. I'm pretty much 100% sure that you're not going to see that video anyways. But if you, if you are going to see this video uh, on my channel, please let me know. It would be really awesome to see someone over here after four years. So... Yeah, a Triple X with T60J on Dragon Ridge. Now, if I'm going to talk about Dragon Ridge, my personal opinion, uh, I don't know, I have mixed feelings. For tier 10s, I believe this map is a little bit too small, uh, but up to tier 6 tanks or tier 7 or 8 tanks, this map would have been awesome. I, w I don't know why they removed it straight on. Just keep it for lower tiers or maybe up to tier 6 or something like that, as I said. Uh, but for tier 10s, uh, it was way too small and way too tricky. In tier 10, we have so many slow vehicles, so uh, for those kind of vehicles, uh, this map was huge, simply huge pain in the ass. Meanwhile, old IS-8 got destroyed. Next target, STI, who was strong back then and is strong right now. Uh, but uh, Dragon Ridge, uh, from you guys as well, I remember mixed feelings, a lot of players hated this map, uh, even though we had uh, so many funny moments on this map, jump kills, uh, first jump kills happened on this map, I believe, maybe not, I'm not sure, but definitely a lot of derpy moments, funny moments, and just ridiculous kills happened on this map. Now, one of the biggest weaknesses about this map was actually uh, that, let's say, starting from uh, one line to four or five line, from 1 to 4, you can scratch that side of the map, because really rarely anyone used it. We have rice fields over there that no one is using because it is open ground, and as you can see where our artillery is, at A4. And usually artillery is over there, A4, A3, and enemy artillery is at uh, H1, H2, H3 or something like that, some, somewhere over there. This is just how it is, or this is just how it was. Uh, more often than not, the fight happened only around 6, 7, 8 and 9 line. Maybe maybe, maybe not so much on 6 line, sometimes on 6 line as well, but, uh, but let's say 7, 8 and 9 line uh, was the fighting area. And you can pretty much scratch the whole rest of the map. Because 0 line, completely useless, you simply couldn't go there before batch 8.0 for example. And with uh, this batch, uh, no one's going there anyways. Maybe artillery, sometimes he's uh, trying to hide over there. Our one of the artists is at B8 actually. Good position, I believe. And the enemy team has only one artillery left, so let's see how this, uh, how this game goes. And you can see a little bit of the map as well. Cruising around, dead love over here. The terrain of the map was actually quite interesting. A lot of uh, small hills, big hills. Uh, yeah, a lot of art to shadow and a lot of bushes as well. This map was really sneaky. You were able to be super, super sneaky on this map. Uh, now we are at the edge of the map, which was huge waste of the space because no one, never ever, was over here. It was good position for the arty, but uh, in the front of that position we had huge ass mountains, so artillery is going to be useless over there, so that position was never ever used. And we have so many positions like that, that was never used on this map before. Still looking for the RT. Come on, GW Panther, tier 6. GW Panther, back in the days, GW Panther was tier 6 because we didn't have tier 10 artilleries. Hooray! Top tier was tier 8, yes. Come on. Come on! 
Where the hell is this guy? Oh, hello, there you are. Direct hit as well. Gunner is dead, and you actually missed. But I think you're going to be fast enough. Tracked. Yep, he repaired the... He used the repair kit. Awesome. But you should be able to kill him before he's going to be reloaded. 281, a little bit of ramming as well, and... Goodbye. GG, gotcha. And for this crazy ass rice field farming, uh, Doplex received a stanker and nothing more. <laughs> I know, uh, this replay is old and... And it is a little bit bugged, but uh, close to 9,000 damage done, 5 kills, 1,319 experience. So this is Gary and a half. Toplex did more than 3 times more damage than the next guy in his team, who was Artillery, 212A. On the enemy side, I say it's a really good game and FE 215B as well. Good job, good job. 38 shots fired, 32 hits. 4.7 kilometers traveled, some profit as well. All around epic battle from batch 8.1 in 2012. This replay wasn't over here because of the gameplay, uh, well, because of the gameplay as well, but the main reason was the map, uh, Forgotten Dragon Ridge map. Let me know what you think about this map and let me know what you would like to see in my next episode. I have just so many awesome episodes already planned for you uh, with different uh, for forgotten maps and uh, different uh, nerfed vehicles, for example like FE215B 183 before the Hesh nerf. Whoo, yes guys. It was nasty, it was one nasty, nasty day. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Let me know if you did in the comment section down below or by leaving me a thumbs up button, click down. Take care and bye. Time Machine out.